For the first time in court on Monday, we got to see cell phone video of Hassan Shukur riding through the synagogue parking lot, making those alleged threat that led to these charges. F you, Israel! F you, Israel! That's video taken by and posted by Hassan Shukur as he's leaving Temple Bethel in Bloomfield Township earlier this month on an anti Semitic tirade. Oh, yeah, that's true. Julie Kramer taking the stand Monday in court, a mom who is dropping off her toddler age daughters to the Temple Bethel preschool when it happened. I froze, I panicked, I feared for my life, I feared for my daughter's lives. I didn't know. What was happening in that moment? Shokur now charged with ethnic intimidation, here allegedly yelling at Kramer and her kids. Excuse me, ma'am, do you support the state, uh, state of Israel? How dare you? Shame on you. Don't you know the state of Israel is a damn state? I was so shook by the entire incident. We updated the security system on our house. Shokur's attorney alluded in court that the threats were not directly to this mom or anyone else. We don't condone these kinds of conduct, and it's absolutely reprehensible as to what he was said, but it's not criminal. His family says he suffers from mental illness and has been in and out of psychiatric care. Temple security guard Jawan Jones took the stand too, testifying that he felt threatened when he asked Shokur to leave. Met with this. You want me to get out? You want me to get out? Out, little. You want me to get out, little. Out. You recall him saying, "Y'all gonna die." He said, "You all gonna die." After leaving the synagogue that day, Shakur, who is a felon, tried to buy a gun at a Dearborn gun store. His attorney says he knew he'd get denied, but again was attempting to test his constitutional limits. It was just statements. Statements are never a threat. Just statements. Now, if he was holding a gun and brandishing a gun or a weapon of some sort, that's a whole different story. That district court judge did not make a decision on Monday whether or not to bind this case over to circuit court. They'll make that decision on January. January 5th. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.